Hi and welcome to another video by Paradox and today we will continue down our Let's Play series. And what have happened since last time is that I finished off the quest chain and it have taken me into town. But right now part 41 of the quest and what have happened is that we have been encountering two dungeons and received two new epic items. We have got an Ademal earring and a swift suit and this gives us the great opportunity to talk about your items and how you would like to uh, dismantle shitty items and keep on the epic ones. So what you have to remember is that these epics you are able to upgrade further down the line. All upgrades you make will remain so you never have to hesitate whether you should upgrade it or not. As long as it's a an epic type you should invest into it even though you might come across a T2 magic or rare type that has stronger damage just neglect that we want to save the epics and make these better and better so right now we're gonna go ahead and dismantle everything we don't need by taking these in and press dismantle and this mantle is going to give us magic dust that we can use for uh, daily change. We can use it to our skills. And that's what we're going to be doing right now since we don't have too many skills. So we're just going to take them in here. The second skill here is actually very convenient in PvP as it stuns the enemy at the very last hit. Something that I find very annoying when I'm up against... Um, and a mercenary on my acrobat. But it's always fun to either try to bait it and see how we can play depending upon the situation. And now we actually acquired the forge. So we're gonna go directly and take an upgrade or items as it's showing us how to do. But we want to continue a bit because why not? We're gonna be using this axe for a long time so let's go ahead and upgrade it. Here we go, I'll take it to 6, there we go, and then I think I had a suit, should we take the suit or damage, we'll take a bit of damage, we're out of our calcium, so let's forget about that and just salvage the things we didn't need, actually we have already done that, let's go. more crystals for our broom this is great because we really want to focus on our broom to get it as soon as possible to t3 if there and this is what i mean the apprentice broom we want to get this one to level 10 as soon as possible and i really want to stress on this that you want to upgrade your broom as soon as possible it gives so much of uh, combat points in the very beginning. Okay, let's continue down with line. I have yet not mentioned how you upgrade the pet, and I'm gonna take you through that very briefly in a minute. As you can see, we acquired the to do list. We can have a brief look on that. The to, to do list is basically saying what tasks you can do throughout the day and gain an extra bonus if you do all the entries and that's going to be adding on as we proceed down the line well, let's go now we actually got into Saint Morning here okay we're level 73 now we could actually join a guild uh, if possible, I might join my own guild someday, just to get those extra buffs that it comes in very handy and leave in some essence of life to the guild to level it up. We got some crystals for the broom, so I want to use them already. You see, 425 CP for one level there. That's good, we'll just keep it up. I 
I actually remembered something very important that we're gonna go and do right away. We need to know how to go shopping. So before anything else, let's go to Florain here. We should be just right outside. Yeah, you can write your pet. Boing, 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 boing. This is very important that you know, but in your hometown where we are right now, you have two extra buttons. You don't have a fight menu, but rather where you had your skills before, you now have a storage and you have a potion. And here in the potion shop is where you're going to be buying your uh, yeah, refillers for your HP. And it's important to remember that you have to flip to Soulbound Penny on top and buy the very same items right from here. We should be quite loaded from the previous events, but just look in the bottom right corner and you get to the storage and the potion shop. One more thing that is very important that you know is that your bag has a certain amount of bag slots here and they unlock over time. As you can see, the next time I get a free slot is going to be in 18 minutes. That means that you will not have to pay for this slot, but you can just go here and unlock it for free. The very same principle goes to your storage or inventory. It actually allows us already to expand and it's zero in cost and now it's open. And you can see that the next cost, uh, the next free slot is gonna be in 50 minutes or we could do it right now for 10 gems. So now when that's covered, let's continue out in the big world. We're just going to wrap up a few more quests here before the video is done for today. And what I want you to take with you is you need to keep an eye on your bag all the time to see if you have a new slot available. You can actually see that we have acquired a better axe here that is not of epic tire, but don't let this fool you just because it's T2. We're actually going to be sticking with our T1 axe here, even though it might be a stupid decision, I'm going to do it because I am very firm with anything else that's not epic is just salvage material for us. Let's continue down the road and see what we encounter. Blazing Strike. This is a very good skill actually. It hurts a lot and it's a 7 meter range which uh, has this ability to uh, hit bosses without taking any damage in return and that goes for all spells with a 7 meter range and we're going to be looking into this when we go into a dungeon at a later point. Let's just put it in extra here. So basically if you were about to go to skills and you can see up in the right corner but it says cool down four minutes range four meters all the skills with a seven meter range can actually hit bosses from a distance that will not take any damage in return and i have a few videos of this but we'll take the time to show you more in depth in this series when we encounter such a dungeon Okay, so I'm going to be wrapping up this video right now and until next time I'll just continue to do a bit of more questing and possibly we're going to unlock new things to look into so I can give you a, a good overview of what you should prioritize next on your journey. This has been Paradox and I appreciate that you're watching my videos. If there's anything you would like to see to the series or if there's anything you would like me to cover, just make sure to use that comment box below. And um, for that reason, I would like to thank you all for watching my videos, but I'm now out, so take care.